This is Absolute Insanity's Weapon Breakdown. Today, I'm covering the axe. It's one of the starter weapons in the game, and the axe has a limited range, but the cool thing is, is that if you miss a throw, you can pick it back up and try again. Hitting most targets will make you lose the axe, except for the drones. When throwing an axe at the drone, it bounces right off, causes damage. However, you can pick it up and use it again. The drones take two hits from the axe to get demolished, but the cool thing is one axe can get the job done. You can find the axe from the crates that spawn from the sky and it is a common but essential mid-range weapon in absolute insanity. This is absolute insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the crossbow. One of the starter weapons in the game, the crossbow has a long range but it only has one shot so make it count. In order to fire the crossbow you need to engage the bolt and you can fire the crossbow at the hip or aim it. The cool thing is, is that the bolt can travel through some enemies which is great for taking out large hordes of monsters. Drones take two hits from the crossbow to get destroyed. You can find the crossbow from crates that fall from the sky. The crossbow is a common but essential longer range weapon in Absolute Insanity. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering rockets. The rocket launcher is a fun explosive long range weapon. The rocket launcher only has one shot but it has a decent explosive range damage and you can use it to rocket jump. You can fire it at the hip or aim it. After launch the rocket will explode once making contact with any object. In order to unlock rockets you need to beat Shelly 1. After it's unlocked you need to destroy a secondary enemy and have them drop it. Or you can always go into arena mode and select rockets only and have an epic rocket battle. The rocket launcher is a fun explosive long range weapon in absolute insanity. This is absolute insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering bombs. Bombs have a large explosive radius but a medium range. They go as far as you can throw them. They explode when they make contact with an enemy or they detonate on their own after a few seconds. The large explosive radius make them perfect for launching you high up into the air. In order to unlock bombs you need to beat Shelly 1 and after it's unlocked you need to destroy a secondary enemy and have them drop it. Or after it's unlocked you can go to arena mode and spawn bombs only and have fun with that. The bombs are an awesome big explosive weapon in absolute insanity. This is absolute insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the shotgun. The shotgun can fire two shots. Each shot has spawned damage. It is most effective in the medium to short range, but some longer range hits can be achieved. Because of the multiple projectiles it fires, it can take out some harder enemies pretty easily. In order to unlock the shotgun, you need to beat Potato Man. After it's unlocked, you need to destroy a secondary enemy and have them drop it. Or after it's unlocked, you can select it as a spawn in arena mode and have an epic shoddy battle. Unlocking the shotgun will also unlock challenge one, so have fun with that. The shotgun is an effective medium range weapon that is so fun to you. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the cyber gun. The cyber gun fires multiple explosive projectiles that can cause some serious damage. However, sometimes the trajectory can be a little unpredictable and it is usually more accurate at closer range. You unlock the cyber gun after beating the server level. After unlocked, you can use the cyber gun once it's dropped by a secondary enemy and it will also spawn from the proximity item spawners in certain levels. The cyber gun is an awesome unlock that can leave somewhat of an unpredictable path of destruction. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the Cyber Launcher. The Cyber Launcher is a unique weapon that fires an unpredictable bouncing ball of destruction. On contact, the ball causes explosive damage and after a certain amount of bounces, it will explode. You unlock it after beating the server level and after unlock, you can use the Cyber Launcher once it's dropped by a secondary enemy. And it will also spawn from the proximity item spawners in certain levels. Although unpredictable, the cyber launcher is a ball of fun. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the rubber duck. The rubber duck is a quacky destructive object. It explodes after hitting an enemy or after a time delayed once thrown. After detonation it will explode into a cluster of other rubber ducks that will also explode. It has a medium range as it goes as far as you can throw it. The rubber duck is a funny cluster explosive weapon. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today I'm covering the Gatling Gun. The Gatling Gun is a turret that will rapidly fire bullets once deployed. You cannot move it once it starts firing so make sure it's aimed towards some enemies. 
If it has a clear line of sight, the Gatling gun has a pretty long range. Once it's out of ammo, it will explode, causing explosive damage. The Gatling gun is a useful tool for those who want to set it and forget it. This is Absolute Insanity's weapon breakdown. Today, I'm covering the laser gun. The laser gun is a sci-fi weapon that launches a thick laser, dealing explosive damage that lingers on slightly, then explodes. You can deal a lot of damage as long as the targets are in range. Speaking of range, the laser gun has a short range, but it's thick. You unlock the laser gun later on, but it's an awesome addition to the game. This is Chris, the game dev, and I'll see you in the next weapon breakdown.